Got and your hair dryer. Yeah, hair dryer. Yeah, I've got, I've got a... Uh, but I might, I think I've forgotten to bring my hair with me. I've got some gel and some mousse, it's fine. Right guys, just picking the gas up. It's his bike, my bike, the Gazmeister. We've got still got loads of room, so loads of space. So easy to strap these down, just use two straps. Simple. Absolutely simple. The van is superb. Right, let's go and find the other guys and see what they're up to and we'll go from there. There's a the film oh. man in his Audi S5. For yeah. these six days. Put it in a bag. Is that your trailer then? Yeah. And here is the free ride and Fantic Stu and Wags in the van. And one thing I did think about padlocking it. That's a good idea if you stop at the pub or something, yeah. yeah. Right guys, as you can see, there's the Gazmeister and myself in the van. I've driven half the way, stopped at a nice pub for fish and chips. And we had scampi, you had scampi, I had fish. Very nice. Lovely. Uh, we're probably about seven minutes from the accommodation. Probably can't see out of that window, but it's, uh, oh, look at this shall we say, slightly hilly. And we're yeah. from a very flat part of the UK. We're not used to this. We're just watching a buzzard fly along the side of the car. Yeah, it's just up there. It's about to, sh about to shit on the van. Uh, it's been a good journey. It's about a four hour drive, I reckon. Uh, probably, isn't it? About yeah, that? From Cambridge. From where we are in Cambridge. The, the second half is windy roads like this, just as you'll see in this video. Exciting just seeing this countryside, isn't it? Even yeah, yeah. Driving a yeah. van around here is lovely. It's just lovely just to be here driving the van, as Gaz just said. It's just, and we're so excited to be with the guide tomorrow to take us on some cool yeah. ride outs. You can't not be here without a guide for the first few no. times. No, so he'll know where to go. And they have special permission down some of the Yeah, stuff. he's got some private land we can go on as well. We don't have to worry about petrol stations and it's just so much easier to have someone that knows what they're doing. So we're pretty chuffed. Uh, yeah, I was going to chat about Paul Bolton, the enduro rider that we're sponsoring for our business. But sadly, he has hurt his knee and he's out of action for at least the first part of the Wes uh, World Enduro Super Series races that are starting, I think, next weekend. As in, probably when you see this video, I could lend him my knee. We could like swap knees. I can have some yeah, time take, yeah, work. Could, uh, Gary, Paul could have my knees. My knees pretty good. I run a lot. <laughs> then I can have a bit of time off work. So we'll have to. So have Paul. yeah, we we'll have a chat to him. So poor old boy, he must be gutted. They build up all year to do a series of races around Europe, and you, you can't do it. So the sponsorship thing's still going ahead. It's not a problem. We don't mind, you know that he can't race, it's not his fault at all, and he will be back for at least the last part of the season. The British race at Hawkstone Park, uh, the other races, I think Spain, maybe uh, Germany, the last ones, I can't remember. So he is going to definitely be doing some racing, but not at the moment. Oh, it's haunted. That's where we're eating our grub boys tonight, on the left. Oh, what Have we missed that? No, I'm saying this is the restaurant we're eating in tonight, here, on the left. Okay. So, we'll have to see how far it is from the accommodation from here to walk. Welcome to our barn for the next three nights. It's very big. It's huge. 
Trifle. Lounge, dining area. Huge kitchen. So we have one bedroom, two bedrooms. Big staircase, a landing, and another humongous bedroom with showers, top quality, and bath. Another bedroom here, and another ensuite. Oh, it's mega. Right, we're gonna go and unpack our gear. We've just arrived. I'm gonna put my e-books in there. There's the communal area. It's gigantic. And there we have a full-size pool table. And the hot tub is massive. It's, it's like a swimming pool. We'll show you it later. Oh, mate, God, it's mega, isn't it? Superb. Oh, well, yeah. It's just lovely. I'm gonna put my waters in the fridge. For the money we paid, it's just, that's unbelievable. Right, boys are, there's Philbert. Shut the door. Yeah, keep the heat in the air. Good idea. It's actually bloody, it's cold out here. So I'm gonna unpack the, unpack the van. Look where we are. Superb. God, it's days like this, Wags, I wish I had some hair. What are you laughing at? You've got no, no. bloody thatch on your head. What? Now yeah, I've got mine on. Oh, Stu's already pumping his tyre up. I've got pump like that, don't worry. So, we're all sorted. Right, so we're part, this part of the barn. There's three other barns there. It's a farmhouse. Just, yeah, we can walk over the hills to the pub tonight. And walk back in the dark and step in sheet shit. Sheet shit? What's sheet shit? Sheep I'm, I'm shit. Like down there. <laughs> We've got a barn to store the bikes in, uh, to hang the gear in, which is brilliant. Superb. Right, I better hurry up and help Gaz uh, get the bikes out. Seven AM, we're all up. It's looking like a good day. It's the wag eye. It's chilly. It's sunny. Oh, it's cold out here, put my shoes on. Need to unload the bikes out of the van. The other guys got those in the barn. Just having some brekkie. Oh! Yo yeah, boys. Oh, someone, someone farted again. That's probably my porridge. Right, just moving the van. Let's get the bikes out. This is the bit where you come from being back in and sit on the sofa. No. Right, right, Gaz and I just checked our tyre pressure with the tubeless running about 100 psi. Rest of the pressure in the tyre about 10. We've got a bit of road work to do as well. Some of them are running lower than 10 on the road, it's not good. So, not sure where we're going to be going. I guess we're heading over that way. Uh, we don't know. We're following Colin, the guide. So the guys are just getting their uh, bikes out of the barn. The barn's up there, and the hot tub's in there. I'll show you that later. I had a picture now to this vid of us in it last night, having a laugh, it's brilliant. So just getting the bikes out. 
bikes are ready to go. Just got to put some fuel in the other guys' bikes and just tire pressure. It's the most important thing to check. But yeah, bikes are looking spot on. Absolutely spot on. Okay, his sticky kit looks good. Far better than the standard uh, bloody uh, TPI colours. A bit of white and orange mixed together. I think this looks good. Really good. Awesome. And Gaz has got new tyres as well. He's got six day extreme tyres, the same as me. These are brand new. Mine have done five hours. They're not bad. Definitely lost some tread. Not too bad at all. So, pretty hard wearing. Mega grip. Absolutely awesome. Superb. And we did get tubeless stickers for the wheels. We need to get some more for mine. So, I've only got a. Uh, yeah. I only got one on each side. There's the Wagman. The Wagman. Awesome. What? Yeah, yeah, he's Filbert. And he's Crocs. Cruising your crocs. Cruising in the crocs. The sheep are talking to you. Oh. Phil, come to me. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, oh. we had a good night last night. Look at Stuart, he's the only sensible one and quiet one, isn't he? Nah, oh, mate, it's not early, early, is it? Stu with the Fantic. That's the boys. Gang. Yes, on the tape. Well, where is it, Wags? Right, and we're off. Boy, it's a bit cold. It'll probably stall in a minute. I've no idea where we're going, what we're doing, but I'll uh, keep you up to date. What's happening? This is what it's about. 